we got to pick up a package. Miss Penny. And I actually don't have time to open any packages. I actually didn't receive the package I was expecting to get. It says it's still on the delivery truck. And as you can see by the title of the video, it is a haul from Fragrance Buy, which I am so excited. I'm really hoping it comes today. I actually have to leave the house now to head to a performance. I was invited by a university about an hour south of here to be featured as a guest artist with their big band tonight. So I'm gonna drive down right now. I'm gonna take you guys with me, get what kind of footage I can, and we'll come back and hopefully have that package to open. If not, maybe we'll just open the two packages here and I'll show you a little preview of that, but fingers are crossed. Also, Scented Day is actually gonna be one of these four new extraits from Amouage. They just released a new collection, extra versions of some of their most popular releases. And I think I'm gonna go with Interlude, which is the dark violet one. It almost looks black here. I think that's what we're going for. It's very strong. I'm only gonna do maybe three sprays. This will be my first wearing, so we'll see how it goes. Dinner before the show, empty Indian spot. I'm getting it to go. And I just got the notification that the package was delivered. I'll see y'all in a bit. Some really wonderful uh, music tonight from the Willamette Singers as well as the Willamette Jazz Collective. Um, yes, yes, give it up for these awesome students. <laughs> Okay, we're back, got the package. I'm not even gonna open up the other packages. We're here for the main event. I'm gonna switch over to the good camera and I'll see you all in a second. <sighs> let's put it down, let's get started. All right, yep, into the AM. Here's my undershirt <laughs> under this suit. This heavy box has finally arrived from Fragrance Buy. I bought these fragrances as a part of their, I think it's their eighth anniversary sale they were having last month. I have four in here. I basically remember what they all are, but kind of not really. So we're gonna do some first impressions, all on paper for now, but of course, more to come. All right, we got it open. So let's start with the first one I'm reaching for. This is from Dunhill. And this is from their, I think they're calling it their signature collection. It's kind of like a Privé line, and this is called Valen Soul. Lavender. Comes in a podium style box and the fragrance sits inside and I love this bottle design. This is basically like the Icon bottles except, I mean they share the cap but the bottom here is different. Beautiful design here, nice and heavy, hefty. We got the same style of, you know, the top here where the atomizer sits and all that. Great detailing. First thing I want to say before I smell anything, I'm wearing Interlude 53, I think it's what it's called, from Amouage. It smells incredible. I've been smelling it all night. It is potent, but not overpowering. Again, I only put on three sprays of it. 
It smells amazing. More to come on that. Let's give this a spray. This is Valence Soul Lavender. Okay, at first spray, this is smelling a little basic, very clean, almost shower gel like. It's opening up a little bit more. Yeah, this is, it's nice for sure. Almost aquatic in a way, fresh. I'm getting like shades of blue, maybe purple too. Not getting a ton of lavender, it's there, but it's not coming off as overly natural lavender. There's a bit of a sweetness in there, almost an herbaceous sweetness. Maybe some citruses running around. It smells nice. I'm not getting a ton right now, at least on paper. It is very fresh, almost powdery fresh in a way, almost aquatic in a way, a little bit of a sweetness in here. Bright, refreshing, and delightful and pleasant. So I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes. We'll come back to it. Alrighty, so this one, I saw the reviews online. I think it's a relatively new scent and it looked really interesting to me. This is coming from Chiron, and this is my first fragrance from them, and this is called Aimez Moi Comme Je Suis, and I think it means love me like I am, or love me as I am, or something like that. Let's get it open. Okay, and from what I read online, this is supposed to be a relatively unique fragrance, which is what made me interested. We got an interesting, what is going on here? What they have around the cap? little card. It looks like this is a refillable bottle. You can unscrew it and put more in. So they have instructions on how to do that in here. Here's our bottle. A very handsome bottle if you're asking me. Feels hefty, nice in the hand. We do have a metal cap, plastic insert, and you'll see here on the front it does have the name of the scent. Let's give it a spray. Mm, okay. Interesting. That's really nice. This is kind of warm. I'm getting a freshness here on the paper that I would imagine is not quite as pronounced on the skin. I'm getting a warm, slightly sweet fragrance. Not overly sweet. <sighs> Almost resinous in a way, maybe kind of leathery in a way, maybe spicy. Definitely something for the fall time. Kind of a handsome smelling scent. I'm not getting a ton here. I can definitely smell it. I'm gonna look up these notes. And this came out yeah, 2020. So we got ginger and grapefruit up top. We got a heart of hazelnut and vetiver and a base of tonka bean and tobacco. It smells wonderful. I really want to try this on the skin. I put it on my hands, but I have stuff on both hands I've been testing all day. So I cannot wait to try this on skin. I'm getting that grapefruit that's quite sharp. Again, I don't think it's going to be quite as pronounced on the skin. I'm getting a touch of that kind of warm hazelnut feel. I'm definitely getting a little bit of sweetness, but I cannot wait to try this as a full wearing. I'm liking it so far. It's very subtle so far on the paper. I wanna get more of it from a full wearing. Again, the more you spray, the more you smell. So looking forward to trying this more. We have another Dunhill and I am very excited about this one. This is also from the Signature Collection and it's called Agarwood. You probably can't read that at all because of my terrible lighting choice. And Similar to the other one, but we have a dark colored juice here. Almost amber-like, darker than amber, honestly. Gorgeous, gorgeous dark color here. Let's give it a spray. All right, I'm expecting oud. And I'm getting oud. Wow. That's good. A dusty, dry oud, well-balanced. Not really super fecal or animalic, not really medicinal. It's a dusty, dry woodiness that has a slight edge to it. There is a bit of a sweetness in here though. Maybe a rose note, I'm not sure, but there is a slight sweetness. This is beautiful. This is giving me vibes of like Sara from Fragrance Du Bois. Maybe a little bit heavier on the oud and a little less sweet but I think I'm liking more so far, but we gotta try it on skin. I love this. My favorite one so far, Caron could be it too, but I'm not getting a ton of it yet. I'm getting more of this here on the paper, but more to come on Agarwood from Dunhill. Good stuff. And the last one from Isamiyaki, only my second bottle, we got Oron Sans. Let's get it open. Now open it up, sits in here. Here's our bottle, like all the others dark color. It's kind of almost like a lavender, a dark purple or dark violet. You can't really tell unless you put light through it, but beautiful sleek design. This cap, it loves the bottle, doesn't want to come off. And let's give her a spray. I don't remember 
I think it's definitely supposed to be incense. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, this is like... I think I'm getting like lab denim in here. This resinous, almost leathery, sweet warmth. Something almost medicinal in here. Maybe some woods going on. Yeah, maybe some rose. Definitely some rose. I think I'm definitely getting some lab denim. Incense for sure. Kind of smoky, wispy, but without smelling like something's burning or smelling like fire. And there's a little bit of a sweetness in here, but it's enveloped in this kind of wispy, smoky texture of the scent. Beautiful stuff. Cannot believe you get this in a designer bottle. This line, this Ismiyaki line, some of these are absolute gems, especially when you can find them discounted, like, wow, this is amazing. Let's go back through and see if anything's changed. Here's Valen Soul Lavender. Okay, hasn't changed much. Still smelling a little bit basic, but smells really great. I can tell that it's a little bit muddled and muted here on the paper. I think it'll blossom a little bit more on the skin. It feels a little top heavy here but smells really nice. Very fresh, again, kind of powdery, sweet, uplifting, clean smelling. I cannot say this name well. I mes moi comme je suis. This is good stuff. The vetiver's coming out more, kind of a smoky, woody vetiver. I'm getting that hazelnut, adding this very slight, again, kind of warm nuttiness, and that tonka bean is in the background, which I think will come out maybe more on the skin with heat. I'm liking that. It smells different. I haven't smelled anything quite like this. And we'll end with agarwood, because we just smelled the issy. Yeah, this is good stuff. I cannot wait to give this a wear. Maybe I'll wear this tomorrow. Loving this. This is a beautiful oud scent, but it is accessible. I wouldn't call it overly funky or overly niche, but oud is here. It's up front. Smells wonderful. Okay, that's gonna do it for me. That's our little haul. I love fragrance hauls. Let me know if you love fragrance hauls down in the comments. Have you tried any of these fragrances? Have you had any of these on your radar? Have you heard of any of these fragrances? I'm really curious if we have any common ground here, but more to come on these as I wear them, as I get to know them better. You know how we do it. You gotta give it a full wearing. So I wanna thank you so much for tuning in to this little kind of mini vlog. Really appreciate it. Please join the Fresh Squad by subscribing. Costs you absolutely nothing. And once again, thank you for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.